Fish and Fields Limited is a company which was uh, started by a Danish firm called Dan Marin and uh, they are also known as Kangamut Seafoods in uh, Denmark which is a 1 billion dollar turnover company and basically they are into fish trading. Uh, this farm started in 2019 and we are located at Sogokope uh, in the Ulta region of Ghana. Currently we have 200 acres of land on lease with us. We have ponds in 100 acres and another 100 acres is ready for expansion. Uh, we have our own hatchery, we have our own production system, we have our own value chain and uh, a coal line is also established. So I can say we are the only company who use the reefer trucks to transport the fish in a very fresh condition to the markets. We have the hatchery, we have uh, the nursery ponds and we also have the grout ponds. We produce them under purely organic condition. We feed our fish on a formulated feed, which components is made up of fish meal, soya bean, rice bran, and also sometimes granite husk. Our source of feed is locally produced. We harvest twice every week. Right now, our production capacity is somewhere around uh, 800 to 1,000 tons in a year, and our market is mainly in two areas, like one in Tema and one in Kaswa. When we started in 2019, our commercial operations, the first year we did nearly 360 tons in the no, 300 tons in the first year, and the next year we did 360, and the later year we are done almost 513, and this year we are touching 800. Uh, this project has uh, generated an employment for nearly 100 families, I will say, because you know each person from one family mostly they are hiring. 60 people are a direct employment, and nearly 40 people get an indirect employment. Overall. Uh, I can say we have three communities adjacent to our project uh, and uh, from, we are taking the people from all the three communities. About 90% of our workers are Ghanaians from the neighboring environments Ponte, Ajokope and Aguataga. They are engaged in feeding, transfer of fish from one pond to the other and also gutting of the fish. We are 50 women here. Some of them are single parents. Because of this job, they are getting something and feed their children. Some are from 23 to 35. Basically, if you look at our farm location, we are not far from the sea. We are adjacent to the river, and uh, we are we are not having any uh, dams after after us. And uh, this is one of the peaceful zones of this uh, area, like you know, no, calm zone, and it is not a protective zone or a wildlife zone. So these are the main criteria which 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 led us to uh, come here and land in Sogokope. Before setting up business here or setting uh, settling in on Ghana. I have gone around nearly 14 African countries and even now also I, I roam around many countries and I will say like Ghana is the best place to invest like uh, the first thing is like the governance you have no problems ease of doing business then the banks infrastructure is established and then the power and also the other infrastructure which is required for your industrial growth or like that that is established you have 24 hour power without any power breaks and uh, uh, again the support what you get from the government agencies from the public from the police the safety overall I will say like Ghana is the best place to come and invest in West Africa or in Africa and moreover the tilapia business in Ghana is a little, little bit more established a sector than in other countries. Ghanaians love tilapia very much and the demand to is very high in Ghana. We are producing thousand tons a year but in the next five years we want to produce five thousand tons in order to meet the, meet the market demand. Therefore, we want to enter into different market places, which is Cape Coast, Takrade, and also Northern region. So, general perception comes: this farming can be done in the river only in the cages. While we started keeping in the mind different things, and we started in the pond, and this is very successful. So, this can be repl replicated in other parts of the country. And instead of taking the tilapia from only Volta River to the different part of the country, we can establish in other part of the country. Means production itself, we can do there. So no need to look for the, the lake or river only. The water source, the pond, uh, the uh, land, those uh, prerequisites, requirements, if it is available in those areas, so we can do easily. Uh, I've been associated very closely with GIPC from 2009 when I first came to Ghana. And they are always supportive to me and very friendly. Uh, like my first issue some years back, it was like some a clearing issue or a duty issue where the JPC stood behind me, went up to the Ministry of Finance, solved that issue. And in this project also, they have been supporting me in many ways, like the fastest way of getting the permits, the fastest way of getting uh, uh, clearances, uh, exemptions. So their job is tremendous for me. So come and invest in Ghana, grow in Ghana, grow with Ghana.